Hey guys, welcome back. I am super excited about this video. I am going to try to do 15 logos in 15 minutes. I do not know if I can do it. I set up some boundaries for me so I can kind of attempt to complete this challenge. I could be totally shooting myself in the foot with how difficult this probably is, but you know what? Why not try to challenge myself a little bit more? I have not done logos in a really long time and I feel super rusty. So this might be a good like warm up type of project for me. And the only rules I set for myself are pretty much like I'm allowed to sketch out the ideas beforehand and prepare fonts. And I have one minute to actually build out the logo as much as possible. And that'll be as much as I can do. I can just build out that logo and that's it. I won't do any sort of like color palette or anything because all of that takes more time but you guys will see like the final logos like i'll like either touch them up a little bit towards the end or i'll kind of add some color palettes clean them up whatever um so those are the only like rules i set and i asked you guys on instagram was it yesterday by the time you guys see this it'll be a couple days ago i asked you on instagram for some funny brand ideas and names and like a little description for the brand and I wanted something punny, I wanted something witty, and oh my god, did you guys come through with some really funny, good, creative brand concepts and ideas, which really makes me happy because I'm glad that the designers and the creatives and just everyone who follows me kind of understands the basis of what synergy is, and whether you know what synergy is or not. It was very clear to me that a lot of people have a very good grasp on what it means and how it can translate to a brand and a logo idea. So long story short, synergy is the relationship between two or more objects that might be independent of one another, but when they are combined, their sum is greater than the value of them apart. So it could be kind of like an unspoken relationship between two items, whether it's like two individual like objects or a word and an object, they have an unspoken relationship with one another that when combined, they're greater than the sum of their parts type of thing. And that's a huge principle in graphic design, especially in logo design. I will cover like more serious logo design in another video that I'm planning. But for the most part, that's the tip of the iceberg. One of the most important values in creating a logo is having that unspoken bond and how you can translate the essence of a brand into a logo with kind of extrapolating some visual cues from a brand and how you can kind of turn that into a really cool logo. So I have 15 brands that you guys came up with and I will credit everyone except for the people who wanted to remain anonymous on screen. So you guys know the hilarious people who came up with some of these. I selected ones that weren't too dirty. Some of you guys went a little off the rails with some of the ideas, which I really appreciated, but I do not want this video to get demonetized. So I could not select all of them. I got probably like close to like a hundred at least submissions and these are my top 15 that I thought I could do something with and were just like punny and creative or just like ones that I thought would make cool logos. So, oh, should I read them off? So I guess I'll run through them really quick and then we will dive into actually building out these logos. So the first one is the Moonlight Diner and it is a diner open a sunset to sunrise. Love that. And then we have Pablo's Ice Cone Bar, which I thought was really funny. So it could be like an ice cream shop or a snow cone shop. So Pablo's Ice Cone Bar. Then we have Fun Gus, which I think someone submitted because I have a cat named Gus. And I really like the idea of like any sort of like mushroom service or like a mushroom delivery service or something. But I really like the word fungus anyway, and I think it could make a really fun logo, but they sent it as a hyphenated version. So that's what we're gonna go with. And then we have D's Nuts as in someone named D and they have nuts and they sell nuts at like a nut stand. I don't know. Uh, so we got D's nuts and then we have Earth, Wind and Fire, a vegan kind of uh, earth friendly place that's all powered by green energy. I thought that was a hilarious name. I'm obviously not worried about any copyright issues with this. This is just for fun. So these are not real places. So we're gonna have some fun with them anyway. Uh, so Earth, Wind and Fire, a vegan, uh, like zero uh, carbon emission, zero footprint pizza place. And then we have Taylor Swift, which is a Swift tailoring service, which I thought was 
I thought that was so funny. I really appreciate it. Like you guys really catered these to like my specific taste. So I love, love, love that. So we got Taylor Swift and then we have industry plants, a plant shop and I could not resist a plant shop. I could not um, resist throwing one in. I got a lot of really good submissions for plant shops. So people should definitely be more creative with their plant shop names because there's a lot of boring ones out there. The next, I really resisted uh, putting in more gay bar names because I absolutely love how crazy you can get with naming gay bars because there are so many puns. There's so like there's so much to pick from when naming a gay bar or like a queer club, anything. So my favorite one out of all of them, I got so many is the gay agenda because I think that's a really cool name for like a dive queer bar. So I love Love that, we're gonna be doing that. And then we have Phoebe Bridges, a construction company that does bridges. Then we have Milkwaukee, an ice cream shop in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I love that. Then we have Indiana scones, like Indiana Jones, but a bakery that specializes in scones. Um, and then we have You Belong With Me, a pet adoption place, but it's kind of like Taylor Swift themed. And I thought it could be even cooler if we like ran with it into like just exclusively cat adoption because Taylor Swift really likes cats. So You Belong With Me, like a cat adoption facility that like Taylor is Taylor Swift themed. I don't know. So I love that idea. Then we have Fiona's apple, a fruit and vegetable stand. I think that is so cute or Fiona's apples rather. Super cute. Uh, then this was the one that literally sent me to the moon, uh, Strangers Things and it's a thrift shop. So good, so good. And then the last one that we're gonna be doing is a kind of like a tacky camping supply store called This Is Camp. Did someone say camp? So we have a lot of really, really fun ideas to work with. I had a blast sketching these out and like kind of brainstorming some ideas. So thank you everyone who submitted. This was so much fun and it was really cool to like hear everyone's ideas because God damn it, you guys are funny. So, okay, I guess we're gonna start off with the first one. I have a little timer on my desktop that is going to run, run the clock for me and I will try to do each one of these logos in under a minute. So I have all of these ideas sketched out. You guys will see a nicer version on the screen here. Um, I have all of them sketched out. Literally, it's like chicken scratch and like bare bones notes of what I wanted to do. I did all of these in like a half hour maybe. So I'm really nervous because I feel so rusty. Hopefully this doesn't absolutely blow. So uh, let's jump in. All right. So I have a little stopwatch. Oh, geez. I have a little stopwatch timer in my little toolbar. So that's what I'm going to be referencing as I go. So very stressed. And in between each logo, I'm going to give myself like a little bit of time. I'm not going to just go immediately right into the next one. I think that would really stress me out too much. And I need like a second to collect my thoughts or I'll get overwhelmed. Uh, yeah, that's what we're going to, that's what we're going to do. Okay. So we are going to start with Moonlight Diner. I should have all these fonts downloaded, hopefully, ideally. Guess we'll see. All right, you ready? <laughs> Go. Okay. Moonlight. And then the font I wanted to use was not coconut. Okay. Let's do uh, Rise. Oh my God, this is so stressful. Okay, let's go. No, I should have done this beforehand. Oh my God, I'm already messing up. It's not going well. Okay. All right, moonlight. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, I'm at, okay. Oh, 40 seconds. Okay. This is the other funny one to do this what? Uh, uh. Unit gothic. Okay. Oh my God, okay. That's a minute. Oh my God. <laughs> That's so fast. Okay. Oh geez. That's literally like just enough time to do nothing. Wow. Okay. All right. We got, we got Moonlight done. That was not terrible. I did not get as far as I had wanted to, but I feel like that's going to happen. Oh my God. The kerning on this is a disaster. <sighs> Okay, all right, we gotta, we, gotta, we gotta keep moving on. We gotta keep moving on. All right, let's open this again, clear that. All right, so this next one is Pablo's ice cone bar. Ice cone bar. So I have two pieces of text for this. Here we go, okay, go. Pablo's ice cone bar. 
Pablo, Pablo. And this main font is gonna be, this is Clarendon. Regular kerning. Okay, and then for this, I wanted to do a little snowflake. Okay, 30 seconds. Oh, geez. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That that isn't awful. I didn't get to add that second that second font as quickly as I had wanted to. Oh man, I'm not gonna touch it. <sighs> oh geez, this sucks. This is really hard. This is like the worst way to design logos because logos take a long time to do. Okay, moving on to our third. This is a uh, fun gus. So I wanted this one to be like a really flowy, kind of like squiggly, curly, squirrely one. So as if it were like a, like a, think of it like a delivery service or like a mail subscription thing where you can grow mushrooms every month. That's what you're channeling. So think of the people who would buy mushrooms in the mail or like mushroom growing kits in the mail. So we're gonna get, we're gonna get wild with this. Okay, are you ready? I'm gonna do this all by hand. Okay, go. <laughs> Okay, not a bad start. And then they had it hyphenated. Oh, that's not how you spell guess. I should know. Oh. Okay, we're at 40 seconds. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, that's not terrible. Okay, I finished that in under a minute. That, that looks awful. I gotta fix that. Okay, sure. Okay, that's a minute. Oh my God. Okay, okay. We're not gonna touch any of them up. This is just a seeing, seeing, seeing what sticks. All right, so this next one is D's Nuts. So I'm thinking like vintage nut stand, you're driving down the five uh, down California or up California. If you've done that drive, you know exactly what I mean. There's a lot of like fruit and nut stands. That's the energy I'm going for, for D's Nuts. So if, channel only a little old lady named D. She sells like almonds. Okay, get your mind out of the gutter. All right, <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Uh, go. Ah. D's. Okay, then we're gonna go to our font that we're using. Uh, Geo. Okay, we gotta get out of caps. Okay. D's. Nuts. Okay. Let's pull our kerning together. Okay, we're at 30 seconds. <laughs> oh, I'm wasting time here, I'm wasting time. Okay, then we're gonna go up into our more, not that steep. And then same thing with this guy. Okay. That's exactly like what I was picturing. I could finagle with it a little bit more, but I think that's pretty good. Oh my God, oh my God, okay, okay. All right, okay, that's a minute. It's giving me like C's candy a little bit. Maybe it's because of the double E. Kerning's a little bit nuts on it. <clears throat> nuts, but not not too bad. Not too bad, guys. Okay, we are four in. Hit save. Let's keep going. 
<laughs> this is kind of fun. Okay, so the next one for Earth, Wind, and Fire, the vegan, uh, environmentally friendly pizza place. Oh my god, okay, I had this idea of it being like a grid, like old, like a diner, pizza parlor, tablecloths. So, oh man, this is gonna be a, oh, geez. This is gonna be a disaster, okay. I don't know if I can do this in a minute. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Earth. Wind. Oh, no, that's wing. Wind. Fire. Pizza. Okay. And then I wanted Hellenic wide. Okay. There were definitely faster ways. What? To do this? Um, oh, I see why. I'm an idiot. God. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm blowing through time. I'm blowing through time. I'm not going to have enough time to finish this one. Okay. I wanted there to be a grid. Oh my god, I did. I'm not going to be able to finish this one in time. Oh my god. Disaster. Disaster has struck. Whatever. Okay, that's a minute. I knew that one. I, I botched that one. I panicked. You guys will see the end result for that one because I have a really cute idea in mind. Ugh. I'm annoyed. I'm really annoyed at myself. A minute is simply not enough time to execute a logo. Who would have thought? Anyway, okay, so we got, we got that one. You guys will see the end result of that one. That's as far as I can get in a minute. Whatever. That was that was one of the more complicated ones. Oh, this next one's gonna be... <sighs> this next one's gonna be really hard too. Okay. <laughs> so this next one is Taylor Swift. The Swift Taylors that tailor your clothes very swiftly. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. Go. Uh. Swift. <laughs> What's the fun I had for that? Uh, cap, cap it. Okay. I wanted to go like Jetsons vibes with this. Okay. Taylor. Oh, not Taylora. Oh, uh, what's the other font? Novell Sands. Okay, let's do. Okay. Okay, and then for this, we wanted to do, yep, yep. How much time are we at? Oh my God, 40 seconds, are we? Ah. Okay, okay, okay. So somewhere up there, and then I wanted to do some sort of like thing like this. And then like have like little Little shiny, oh no, little shiny things around it. Like that, oh, I'm over a minute. Okay, oh man, <sighs> this is so challenging. Okay, we got that, we got that going. It's as much as I could do in a minute. I had such cool stuff planned for that one. I wanted that to be like literally like something you see out of the Jetsons, but you'll see the end result for that one. Okay, it's fine. All right, so the next one is industry plant, plants, okay. Let's go. Oh no, I wanted it to be plants. Okay. I'm wasting time. Uh, where's my... are kerning hella close. Yes, yes. Um, let's do our fill. Yeah, yeah. Cheer. Ah. Uh, this is good. A stroke, a stroke on the inside, stroke on the inside. God. Oh my God, that's a minute. I had so many more cool things planned for this one. Man, I don't even think I chose the right. Did I even choose the right? No, oh, maybe I did. I don't know, you guys will see the end result for that one. That'll be a really cute one once I actually like get to finish it. But I really like, where I'm going with this one is cute. Trust me. Okay, these are not going well. This round is not going well. <laughs> I am stressed. Okay, 
Okay. All right. Let's see what we have next. Um, all right. Oh, this next one is the gay agenda. I'm really excited about this one. This one will be really easy. Okay. I wanted like vintage 70s type of t-shirt vibe. So this one will be easy. Okay. Let's go. The, and then I'll separate them. Gay. Agenda. Then I wanted Miss Cooper. Not in caps though. I wanted these to be centered. And then like, all touching like that. Maybe I have it. Oh, oh, no. Maybe they should all just be centered. Oh my God, I'm at 40. Ah! This is too fast. This is too fast. I spoke too soon. Um, okay, yeah, something, something like that. With all of the kerning much tighter, maybe, maybe, please. I know, ah, oh, a minute, god damn it. Okay. Maybe it'll look better. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Ooh, I'll keep playing with that one. Maybe it's better in caps. Maybe it is. I don't know. Okay. So we've got our, our gay bar done. We need to stop our stopwatch. Okay, Woo. we're flying through these. Oh my God, a minute is literally not enough time. I got really confident with these first ones. Um, couldn't have been more wrong. Okay, oh my God, this next one is gonna be nuts. I do not think I can do this one in time, but we're gonna try anyway, okay. All right, so the next one is Phoebe Bridges a construction company that does bridges. So let's let's go ahead, guys. Oh, I don't know if this is gonna work. Okay, go. B, B, bridges. Um, and then they always have like a license number. And then I have 81794, which is her birthday. And then we're gonna go Frank, Franklin. Yeah, this is like very on brand for, no, oh, god damn it. Okay, whatever. Okay, and then I wanted to do an archway. No, just these. Okay, and then we're gonna have to do like a little, a cute little, uh... oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I wanted like a little bridge. Oh, this is not, this is literally not enough time to do the logo that I had wanted to. There's gonna be a bridge there. And then there's gonna be uh, little, cute little stars up here. Okay, trust me guys. And then there's gonna be cool water down here. And it's gonna be like this. That's what I want. I wanna do that. God, that'd be so cute, but I don't have time. <sighs> okay. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Phoebe, Phoebe's bridges will have to have to chill. Okay. <laughs> All right, moving on, moving on. All right, we have six more logos. So we're over halfway. Oh my God, this is so stressful. All right, so the next one is Milwaukee, the ice cream shop in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Let's see if I can do this in time. I probably can't, but we're gonna try anyway. What's the fun I have? Paralucent, okay. Let's go. Does Mil Does Milwaukee have one or two E's? It's two. Ah. Paralus. Yes. Okay. And we're gonna go like that. Maybe a little bit longer. Okay. Okay, center. Okay, we're at 40 seconds. God damn it. 
is not, no, no, God. <laughs> Let's try this. Yeah, this is probably a better route. I should have done this from the beginning. Oh man, oh man. Oh, this might be the worst one so far. Oh, I'm over a minute. Of course I am. It took me a minute to make that. That's embarrassing. Wow. I thought that one would be easy too. Damn. God, this is really frustrating. Okay, next we have Indiana scones. I think this one will be a little bit easier, but watch me completely eat my words right now, okay? All right. I hate when my illustrator does this. Indiana scones. Not scones. Scones. Okay. Oh. Do another rise like that. Okay. I think that's as much as I have time for, unless I can do a little. Uh, where's Cucker? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Of course, now it's not gonna load. It's not gonna work now, of course. Okay, pretend there are cute little um, little things right here, and they are very, very cute and bakery-like. Okay, we got that for Indiana scones. <sighs> or maybe I do. I want it to like. I think that would be better if it were like that. I don't know. I don't even know if I like the little sparkles. All right, so we got that. Oh man, oh man. All right, oh, I don't think I could do this next one. This is this next one is not gonna happen in time, I'm telling you right now. So the next one is You Belong With Me, the Taylor Swift themed pet adoption place. Let's go. You, the, oh my God, I messed up. You belong. What's the font I have selected? Of course, it is a uh, unit gothic. Where's that little thing that pops up? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just like that. Except it's gotta be bigger. It's gonna match the same size. Okay. Mm, not that big, not that big. Okay. Well, pretend there's a little paw print that's gonna go in the middle because that's what I had wanted to do. Okay, so we got that. That is a minute. <sighs> this is so hard. Why did I give myself a minute? This is not enough time. Okay, we got three more guys. So this next one is Fiona's apples. I think this one will be a little bit easier in all honesty. I know I've said that quite a few times, but I think this one maybe a little bit easier. Who knows? Okay. Fiona's. And then the font I have is this cool orchestral. I really like this font. Okay, I think I should take that separately. Um, zero. Oh. Fiona's apples. And then, I have, nope. And then this. Oh, I don't have Nimbus Sands downloaded, of course. Really? I don't, I don't have Nimbus Sands downloaded. Wow. Okay, that's gonna, it's gonna put me behind. Um, we'll do, para I, I'm allowed to cheat now because my font wasn't downloaded. Is that, no, it's really not the vibe I was going for. 
but pretend it was. And it was great, and we all enjoyed it. And I'm not cheating right now. Guess this is my game, and I made it up. <laughs> Did I lock? No, I didn't lock that. Okay. Okay. Well, pretend that looks great. So there's Fiona's apples. This view along with me is, look, it looks terrible. It looks, so many of these look absolutely awful. Oh my God. Okay. All right. Now we have Strangers of Things, which I don't even know like what I'm gonna do for this. Oh, I did the wrong font for Indiana Scones. I was gonna use another one. I knew that should have been another font. Okay, hold on, I get to cheat now. Cause this was supposed to be uh, freight. Yeah, that looks way more accurate. Freight text. Okay. Sure, we'll pretend like that makes any sense. Um, all right, so the the second to last one is Stranger's Things. Oh, this is gonna be a nightmare. Okay, let's go. Strangers. Strangers? It's possessive, right? This is where I wanted to do new spirit because I didn't want to use the actual font that they use for strangers thing a stranger things god things okay oh wait I had another idea god damn it all right color and then I paste that on top okay cool there's strangers things oh my god disaster absolute disaster that looks terrible that looks absolutely terrible okay now moving on to the last one the camping supply store that is called this is camp selling campy camp supplies so okay and the last one <laughs> what font interstate okay it a little bit yeah let's stretch it okay the other line is camping supplies and for that I have Franklin Gothic Lloyd no I don't okay no we're not gonna do that okay we're at 46 seconds that's just enough time to do nothing and then I wanted there to be For this, this is uh, uh, Shift X. <laughs> okay, I'm over a minute. Frick off. Let's make that like a half point. Um, and then that. fumbled back on this one. I thought I knew all the shortcuts. Okay. So if I, that's outlined 
and I make that a compound path and then make it with a white fill, white fill. And then I make this whatever width I want. I wanted it to be a mountain range. That stroke on the inside because I hate it on the outside. that's still not working. Have I gone insane? I think I've gone insane. Okay, that's a compound path. Okay. be my biggest fail of a logo throughout this entire project. Oh my God. This was so hard. Jesus. I really, okay, this idea, I swear, you guys will see, is a cool idea. Oh man. Oh man. Well, this was difficult. This is quite difficult. Obviously logo design takes a really long time and I know a minute is absolutely no time at all to do anything, but ugh, this was really fun. And it just goes to prove that like logos take a really, really, really long time just because you can type something out really quickly when people are like, oh, I could do that in a minute. No, you can't. I can't even do it in a minute. So let this be a, a lesson to people who are like, oh, I can, I can do that. No, I can't even do it. I, I'm literally a graphic designer and I cannot do it that fast. Um, thank you for letting me cheat a little bit and not you let me. I decided to sketch out these ideas first because that was definitely really like where the actual challenge was of kind of like coming up with ideas that were like creative and fit with like the vibe of the brand that we were making. I think once you guys see like the final product, you'll be a little bit more on board with like the, the vibe I was going for. But I'm really excited for you to see the final product because I feel like some of these are so close. Like these nuts are really great. And like the Moonlight Diner one and Pablo's Ice Cone Bar is really great. I think those are awesome. And I think the gay agenda is so close to working. It just needs like a few more pieces to it. And Fiona's apples was stunted because I didn't have the font that I wanted downloaded, but it's fine. Well, this was really fun. Uh, let me know if you guys liked stressing out with me. Um, and here are the uh, final logos. I think they will look much better than the ones I did in a minute. So there you go. <laughs> Wow, weren't those cool? I think those are much better than the ones I did in less than a minute, hopefully. I don't know, I haven't done them yet, but I trust, I trust future me to clean them up and make them look like they make some sort of sense. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I hope you enjoyed stressing out with me and thank you everyone for your wonderful submissions. This was a lot of fun and I think I should do more videos like this because they're, they're, they're hectic fun, but definitely like a good warm up type of thing. And maybe I could do like warm up sketches as like another video because I get like a lot of ideas when I start sketching something out and not all of, all of them end up making it even onto like one of my logo options boards type of thing, but definitely fun. So I hope you enjoyed watching this and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.